Hello friends, my name is Denise Welch and I work here at the Embassy of the United States in Nicosia. Have you ever paid attention to something very small that the grown-ups around you missed? There's lots of really beautiful small things everywhere to be found on this island. There are small shells on the beach. If you go at the right time of year, you might even see small turtles or small crabs. There are small flowers, small stones, small animals, lots of beautiful small things. Today I'm going to read about a girl who discovers the small things in her world and shares their beauty with everybody else. The book is called Little Things by Nick Dyer and it's illustrated by a woman named Kelly Pousset. Will you read along with me? Let's get started. Little Things by Nick Dyer, illustrated by Kelly Pousset. My favorite things are little things. I find them in my pockets my shoes, and in my cereal bowl. They can be in blades of grass, in the air, or a million miles away. I love to hold them. count them and to follow them home. Little things can be yummy things. They can also become humongous things. They can show me hidden things. Like very special things. Little things can seem like big things. And big things can seem like little things. And sometimes little things can become great big things eventually. It can be easy to miss the little things. So I make sure to stop and look.
I look underwater. under rocks. And under other little things. And when I do, Little things can tell me where I've been, where I'm going, what's nearby, and what's on its way. Little things are everywhere. But they're never just little things. Because even the littlest thing can be a big thing. To a little thing. The end. I hope you liked this story, Little Things. I had so much fun reading this with you today. I think it's a great book for little children because you are so much better at seeing and noticing the little things and reminding grown-ups how important little things are to all of us and especially to little children. I hope you join me and my friends here at the Embassy for more stories and I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.